and stuff. This is not ice cream. This is not oh, ice cream. Hold on. Cream. There we go. I don't know what the fuck that was. Some shit on World Star. But yeah, so I guess we gotta wait for the movie to come out. And that's it. Now, if there's gonna be a continuation from the movie, I don't know. But I thought the manga was gonna continue for a lot longer than 10 bitch ass chapters. But hey, that's all we get. But anyways, okay, Dragon Ball Z stuff. <clears throat> So I see um, J-Stars is coming out for America, and people are hyped up about it. I already played it. I already played the Japanese version, so, I mean, it's an alright game. It's just that there's a lot of anime fighting games, and, you know, a lot of people want it to be online, but, like, whenever a new game comes out, people just forget about all the other people with the bad internet connections. You know? They'd be like, oh, Storm 4 is coming out. This, this, and that. But they should make... Like, a lot of people want that world tournament thing on Revolutions to come to Storm 4 and be online. But, like I said in the past, four people, and if one person has a fucked up internet connection, then it's over. You know? And then you might have a... A spamming ass nigga in the back using a long range character. Everybody's using long range characters. They can only throw like three things and then they get interrupted by somebody else's. So, you know, y'all just gotta think. You know? Because Storm 4 is coming out and I'm gonna get it because I'm gonna get my PS4. What the fuck? Oh, there it goes. Okay, the color change. I'm gonna get my PS4 and like nine more days so yeah I'm, I'm gonna get it but i don't know what games i'm gonna get for it i might get um arkham knight i might get that little thing but i know i'm getting dc universe online again so that's gonna take like all day to download but i'm gonna get that shit again when i get my four and yeah, yeah dragon ball z okay so dragon ball z super is coming out for the fifth of this month so one day before the Naruto manga is done, and I already seen the plot. They're gonna go to another universe, universe six, and they're gonna they're 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 looking for Super Dragon Balls. You know, Dragon Ball Super. They're looking for Super Dragon Balls. Now, what the difference is between Super Dragon Balls and Dragon Balls, I don't know, but I'm gonna assume that they're gonna be super powerful because everything. In the Dragon Ball Z universe that gets the name Super is a powered up version of the regular shit. You got Super Saiyan, you got Super Freezer, you got fucking Super Perfect Cell, whatever. You got Super Boot, you know, so everything Super is powered up. So I don't know, but the Dragon Balls are already powerful, so I don't know if they um can make a Super Wish. Like, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know, but... When I seen the plot of the, you know, of the show, it kind of reminded me of GT. I'm not saying that it did a lot, but it kind of, because, you know, they're not on Earth anymore. They're going to a different, different universe, but GT, they went to several new worlds. This one, they're going to a whole nother universe. So, yeah. And I, don't, I don't know why people hate GT so much. I... I don't fall in that category of hating it. I mean, it's not the best shit, but it's not the worst shit. I watched it because it was something to watch, you know? I'm not saying that it was a thousand times better than Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. I'm not saying it's a thousand times worse than those, but a lot of people hate it for some reason. I don't I don't know. It, it, it was just something to watch. That's all. That's all. So, don't know why people hate it. But that being said, Xenoverse, I don't I haven't even played that shit in a long ass time. But I see they came out with DLCs, you know, GT one. And the The Fukatsu no F, that DLC too. I mean the game, it, it looks the same. I heard it's been a lot of updates, but it looks the same to me, so I'm not really gonna fuck with it. 
Um, what else about that shit? Yeah, so this so this means like new shit. Oh, and I heard the show's only gonna be a hundred episodes, so most likely that'll. Well, I'm not gonna say that'll be the first season because 100 episodes in, a, in one season. That's um, I think that's unheard of. I ain't never heard of that shit before, but. They, they they might continue continue on that because I know a lot of people is gonna watch it. But that's that's weird though because I don't know, anime anime is weird because like if it's a really good anime and they stop it and they bring it back, they really don't they really don't care like about how how good it was you know how um battle of the gods came out the movie and a lot of people went to go see that shit and it's they they didn't they they didn't say like a lot of people like this so a lot of people want it back so let's bring it back no they dropped another movie and then a lot of people like that and then now they're coming out with the show it's like they waited a long time for no reason it's not like Everybody just stopped watching Dragon Ball Z and just stopped liking it. And then we recently started liking it again. We've been liking this shit. We've been wanting this shit back for a long time. And it took them, I hear, 14 or 18 years to bring it back. Like, that's some bullshit. Same thing with Naruto. It's a good show. A lot of people watch it. A lot of people like it. But it's about to end. So are they going to wait? Fucking 14 or 18 years to make a movie or another one after this recent movie. Are they going to wait that long to make another movie and then be like, oh, people like this shit still. Let's redo the series or not redo it, but let's continue the series. No, because I was about to say, how the fuck they going to do that? Considering the way it ended, but they started up a manga. Again, but that's about to end after 10 chapters. So was it that a lot of people wasn't feeling it or they just only wanted to do 10 chapters? I don't I don't know. Anime is weird. They, they're like if I made a show and a lot of people liked it and it had a big ass fan base and I just stopped it like Invader Zen. That's like one of my favorite cartoons ever, ever. That shit was the Funniest shit ever. And then they, they they canceled it. A long time ago. So when I'm watching these episodes, I'm like, why haven't they brought this shit back? I don't know. You know what? I haven't even did like any research about it. But I know they canceled it because people are bitches. And they can't handle different, different types of cartoons. Because that shit is fucking funny. I don't know why they haven't brought that back or anything. They should, but don't bring that shit back on Nick. Bring it back on like MTV or something, like Beavis and But or like Adult Swim or some shit like that. Because it was it was a different type of cartoon. Some people say it was disturbing, but that shit was funny too. Um, yeah. So that's the whole Dragon Ball Z situation. So that's coming out in four more days. But I don't. I don't know what they're gonna do with this shit. I'm just gonna have to wait it out. And with this Storm 4 shit, let me get on this real quick. Storm 4. Okay, so this is the this is the fifth. Wait, Storm 1, 2, Generations, 3 Revolutions. Okay, this is the sixth one. Okay, Storm 1. If you've ever played it, they had the longest fucking combos. They had. One, two, three, four. I think they had five or four because they had the up, down. I'm not sure if they had left and right. And then they had the neutral combo. But they were long as hell. Like, they were super long. Three health bars, too. Uh, Storm, too. Like I said, I, I'm not sure if they had four. I can't, I can't remember. But Storm, too, they had four. Up, down, left, right was the same in neutral. So that was four. 
Storm Generations, same thing. New characters. Um, Storm 3. No left and right combos. Just up, down, and neutral. So that's three combos right there. And then they get shorter. Like, if you play Storm 1 and then play Storm Revolution, you're going to see the difference in combos. And it, it's the dumbest shit ever. But Storm 4, they... People are hyped up for it. And... I can't, like, every time I see some new Storm shit, I can't get hype because I've been, I played all these games and the only big transition was from Storm 1 to Storm 2. That's when a lot of shit changed. But Storm 2, Generations, 3, fucking Revolutions, they're all very similar with about a couple of changes. Storm 4. They got better graphics. I'm, I'm not. I'm not too big on graphics. I really don't care as long as the game is good. I don't care about graphics. Fucking. They got graphics. They got the particle effect things from like Killer Instinct or some shit like that. Uh, armor breaking. The the only shit that I seen that was pretty cool was that round system. That was it. And I also like how you could switch characters out. Not that much though, because if I'm, if I'm playing against a bitch ass nigga, which I always do, he gonna pick a OP ass, three OP ass characters, and I gotta fight all three of them niggas. And then the awakening system, you get to switch that shit out too. Like, damn man, they trying to ruin friendships and all that shit with that game. And then they said that the running on the wall system might not be included in the online game because it might not be balanced or some shit like that. And it's like, the game is too hyped up. I'm going to give it like two months after it comes out before people like, I'm done with this. I'm done. You know, you seen that nigga Madara's fucking combo. He got, he's the same from Storm 3. Wait, wait. Wait, is it Storm 3? No, Storm 3. She's the same from Revolutions. He's the exact same. The exact same. I'm like, how, how are people not seeing this shit? This is a new game on a new system, and we got niggas that have the same fucking combos since Storm 2. Fucking little ass kids got the same combos from Storm 1. Like, how? This is a fighting game. There should be different combos or, or, or more shit like that. If there's not different combos in a fighting game, and this is the sixth installment... It's the same shit six times. Like, what? Niggas get hyped up over this shit. And you know they keep showing the fucking boss battle because that's all they do. They, they always showcase the boss battles in the Storm games when they come out. They don't showcase playing the motherfucker with a fucked up internet connection. They don't showcase spamming ass, broken ass characters. I mean, that nigga Obito, he's probably like that too. Niggas probably all fucked up because I'm looking at his combo and he doing his shit and I can't tell what's happening. But um, the new Naruto, uh, I think it's the Bijou Cloak or some shit like that. The the the, the six path, the nigga with the, the sticks. His shit looking low key the same. Um, the one that's in Revolutions. Sasuke, he looking totally different. But it's like you see with Sasuke, he looks different, but he kind of looks the same in the same way. It's like, okay, you got this nigga throwing extra fireballs and shit like that. But it, I don't know. It's probably just his fighting style. His fighting style, it gets different, but it looks the same all the time. And who else they, I mean, that's, that's who they showed. You know what? I might make another video because this shit, hold on. I'll be back.